I spoke with Yan Song of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. She's director of the program on Chinese City. The idea behind it is that um, the subcenter will be built to hold about one billion people in um, the current basic suburb of Beijing, but it will be built into the subcenter. And um, uh, many of the long capital functions in current Beijing will be moved to uh, the district of Tongzhou or the subcenter of Tongzhou. And uh, uh, it will be a sample of um, sustainable development in our nation or even the world. What will it mean in terms of traffic congestion, also air pollution? The main mechanism used in the plan is to come up with the uh, green transportation modes. The uh, main goal in the plan is to achieve 80 percent um, share of green commuting uh, modes. In other words, 80 percent of um, travel or tours or trips to work and to um, um, recreation will be made through public transit, walking, or biking. And this is really a major thing. Uh, there are many elements specified in the plan to achieve this goal, uh, but one of the major elements is through the layout of multiple centers or clusters. In each cluster, leave, work, and the play functions will be contained so that people can commute only 30 minutes to work and uh, walk 15 minutes only to uh, schools, for example, um, public uh, services and uh, uh, health care facilities. Um, as you can see, when most of the trips can be made through the green transportation modes, the um, urban issues such as tra uh, the traffic congestion or air pollution can be uh, ameliorated. Uh, what about the cost? What is it going to cost for people to live here? I mean, it sounds almost too good to be true, almost perfect. Right. It's uh, almost uh, perfect to, uh, to be a subcenter there. Um, one cost is coming from the uh, top level of the government. Uh, as I mentioned before, it will be holding many of the long capitalized functions in Beijing. The plan has been uh, put out to have uh, affordable housing um, around the transit stations, uh, higher density housing developments around the transit stations um, to have uh, to be cr created within each of those clusters I talked about. Uh, so in this way, uh, the, uh, the, the housing prices can be uh, eliminated uh, through the affordable housing projects. So it would be more affordable to live there than to live in Beijing? Ideally, it should be. Okay. And if this turns out to be a success, will they try to copy this in other big cities in China? Uh, absolutely. If this model succeeds, uh, it will be copied in other mega uh, city regions in other parts of China, such as Beijing, Shenzhen, Guangzhou, and many other big cities. Um, so this idea is, again, to create um, a subcenter to decentralize the current, what we call, monocentric big city uh, center to polycentric uh, city center. Uh, in other um, areas in the big city, in the mega region. And if all goes according to plan, this should all be completed by when? Uh, this plan aim, aims to be completed by uh, 2030. 2030. All right, we'll leave it there. Yan Song, thank you so much.